Hello, dear student. We will continue from the previous lecture. In previous lecture, we have discussed the vector multiplication. Multiplication of two vector. Then scalar multiplication or dot multiplication we have discussed. And do some numerical related to this. We will do few more numericals related to the scalar multiplication of vector and their properties. Let's check few more questions. As the first question, find modulus of vector a minus vector b. If two vectors, vector a and vector b, are such that modulus of vector a, that means value of vector a is given as 2. And modulus of vector b equal to 3. Magnitude is given. Vector a magnitude to 2 or vector b 3 ideas. L a dot v equal to 4. What we have to find? Modulus of vector a minus b. Let's check how we can solve this one. Vector a minus b. We can use a identity vector a minus b whole square. It can be written as a minus b whole square. Same thing. I can I to hold it. So a to expansion to a k hobo vector a plus b whole square. Previous lecture about my coisilo. Can I expand kori bolake? That means it will be vector a square minus two a dot b plus vector b square ketio vector b model without modulus square it will be what is the value of vector a magnitude of vector a is 2 that is 2 square it's 2 into a dot v is given a dot v is 4 so 2 into 4 plus b is given Magnitude of v is 3, that is 3 square. So, what did we count? 2 square means 4 minus 2 4 ja 8 plus 9. That is 4 plus 1. 5. What we have to find? Modulus of vector a minus b. Here we got modulus of vector a minus b whole square. Now, if we take square root in both sides we get this this is our reason vector a minus vector b modulus will be square root of 5 that's it very simple let's check another question read the question properly first if vector a is a unit vector what is given vector a is a unit vector what is the Magnitude of a unit vector. I will told you in a unit vector case always magnitude of a unit vector is 1. Unit for 1. Their magnitude is always 1. That is modulus of a will be equal to 1. And x vector x minus vector a will do x plus vector a. Okay, here it is given vector x minus vector a whole into vector x plus vector a equal to 8. What we have to find? Modulus of vector x. That means magnitude of vector x. Let's check how we can solve this one. First, our condition is given vector a is a unit vector. S a is a Unit vector. Unit vector what are magnitude to values. So let's solve this. What is the given condition? Vector x minus vector a into vector x plus vector a equal to eight. Simple multiplication guru. So vector x into vector x. It will be x square 
plus a plus b to a minus b who is a so vector a square equal to 8 already previous class of question so this is the vector like of forward we can write like this way so we have to find to be the value of vector x take this to right side vector x square 8 plus magnitude of vector a is 1 so 1 square that is 8 plus 1 which is equal to 9 so vector x square Taking the square root in both sides, we will get modulus of vector x will be plus minus 3. That's our required reason. Check once more. First, check the condition what is given in question. Always read the question properly. To solve a numerical, there is always a hint to all your questions. In every numerical, question to the hint, kiba holo takibu. If vector A is a unit vector L, vector X minus vector A into vector X plus vector A equal to 8, what we have to find the magnitude of vector X. Here it is given as A vector is a unit vector. So we know the value of a unit vector. That means magnitude of a unit vector is always 1. We have to use this one, this value somewhere. So let's expand this to this condition given in question according to question. To simplify this, you will get this. This is our result. Check the question. What is this for any two vectors, vector A and vector B? We have always modulus of vector A plus vector B modulus less than equal modulus of vector A plus modulus of vector B. It's called a triangle law. Let's check how we can prove this one. We'll check the proof of this. Proof of your triangle law. We have or we know vector A plus B whole square that equal to modulus of vector A square plus modulus of vector B square plus 2a dot b or you can write like this way modulus of vector b is square plus 2 into modulus of a into modulus of b now cos theta will become into cos theta now Value of the cos theta is always less than equal to 1 for all theta. Theta is equal to value of cos theta value will be less than or equal to 1. Range of the cos theta minus 1 to plus 1. Therefore, 2 i dot v cos theta will be less than 2 of from this cos theta multiply both side by 2 modulus of a into modulus of b both side multiply code is same number in this equation not equation it is inequality in this inequality we multiply both side by 2 modulus of a into modulus of b Now add this in both sides plus modulus of b square plus two 
modulus of a into modulus of b now what we have filed it is modulus of a plus b modulus whole square less than what will become in right side modulus of a plus modulus of b whole square taking the square root in both side we will get a plus b whole modulus less than equal modulus of a plus modulus of b which is our triangle law this law we have to prove else we proved Let's check another question. Find the magnitude of two vector, vector A and B, having the same magnitude. Here is all condition is given, having the same magnitude. Magnitude of the vector is same. And so is that angle between them is 60 degree. Angle between these two vector, vector A and B is 60 degree. And their scalar product is half. Scalar product means A dot B is half. Is given. Now we have to find the magnitude. That means modulus of vector A and modulus of vector B. Let's check the solution. They have the same magnitude. That means modulus of vector A is equal to modulus of vector B. According to quotients. They have same as they have as they have same magnitude. Questions is angle between them is theta that means theta is equal 60 degree and their scalar product a dot b is half these are the condition given in question from the question we got this data now what we have to do we have to find the value of modulus of a and modulus of b how we can find as it is given a dot b is equal to half so we know a dot b is modulus of a modulus of b cos theta equal to half that implies modulus of a is equal to modulus of b we can write modulus of a into modulus of a cos 60 equal to half that implies modulus of a whole square cos 60 is half into half equal to half therefore modulus of vector a square equal to half become 2 cancel become 1 therefore modulus of a square equal to 1 from this we will get modulus of vector a is or equal say plus minus 1 as it is modulus it will always be plus or negative 1 magnitude is less positive b will be same this is the result required result Modulus of vector A equal to 1, modulus of vector B equal to 1. Let's check another question. If vector A equal to 2y cap plus 2j cap plus 3k cap, comma, vector B equal to minus i cap plus 2j cap plus k cap, and vector C equal to 3i cap plus j cap, are such that here is the condition vector A plus lambda of vector B is perpendicular to vector C. Then file the value of lambda. To solve this question, first we have to do file the value of this one. Vector a plus lambda of vector b. What is vector a? 2y cap plus 2j cap plus 3k cap plus lambda of vector b minus i cap 
प्लस टू जे कैप प्लस के कैफ सिंप्लीफाई दिस आई कैफ यू कैन टेक कॉमन टू माइनस लेबडा आई कैफ प्लस वन प्लस लेबडा टू जे कैफ प्लस थ्री प्लस लेबडा के कैफ दिस इज वेक्टर ए प्लस लेबडा वेक्टर बी एंड वेक्टर सी इज गे बेलस थ्री आई कैफ प्लस जे कैफ एस इल क्वेश्चन this vector and this vector is perpendicular to each other as vector a plus lambda of vector b this l vector c are perpendicular to each other therefore therefore वेक्टर ए प्लस लेबडा और वेक्टर बी इन टू वेक्टर सी विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो सो वेल ऑफ दिस पुट दिस डॉट प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दिस ओनली आई कैफ आई कैफ एल जे कैफ जे कैफ विल बी मल्टीप्लाई देर इज नो के कैफ इन सी वेक्टर सो इट बिकम जीरो नॉट रिक्वायर टू मल्टीप्लाई दिस आई कैन डायरेक्टली मल्टीप्लाई फ्रॉम दिस थ्री इन टू टू माइनस लेबडा प्लस जे कैफ हेयर इज ओनली जे कैफ वन प्लस लेबडा इल टू 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 इल टू वन प्लस लेबडा इल टू वन इल जे कैफ वन इंटू जीरो सिंप्लीफाई दिस सिक्स माइनस थ्री लेबडा प्लस टू प्लस टू लेबडा इक्वल टू जीरो एट माइनस लेबडा इक्वल टू जीरो देर फोर लेबडा इक्वल टू एट दैट्स अवर इक्वल रीजन इट्स वेरी इजी हाई वेल लुक वंस मोर फर्स्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड द वेल ऑफ दिस दैन अकॉर्डिंग टू क्वेश्चन दिस ऑफ टू इच अदर सो अप्लाइड द Condition for perpendicular dot product between this two vector always equal to zero. So we get the value of lambda. That's it. Okay, last question of today's class. If the vertices a comma b comma c of triangle ABC one comma two comma three comma minus one comma zero comma zero. comma 0 comma 1 comma 2 respectively these are the point vertices of a triangle abc then find angle abc here is the hint angle abc is the angle between vector ba and bc we don't need required to draw the diagram of the triangle then we have to find the angle abc b angle to kon dota vector major kon dota position vector major poribo hebo ami sabola lage we can directly apply This hint, yeah, just to hint to dear sir. Angle ABC is the angle between the vector BA and BC. So what we need to do? We need to find the BA and BC vector BA. That means position vector B to A. It is it is B and A. A minus B. BA will be vector A minus B. One minus one. So one plus one I cap. Plus two minus zero J cap. Plus three minus zero. K K two Y K two J K three K K its modulus that means magnitude of B A will be square root of two square plus two square plus three square four plus four plus nine four plus four eight eight plus nine that is seventeen. Now what we have to find B C B C C minus A C minus A zero minus one I cap 
प्लस वन माइनस टू जे के प्लस टू माइनस थ्री के के इट विल बी माइनस आई के माइनस जे के माइनस के के माइनस ऑफ बी सी विल बी स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ माइनस वन स्क्वायर प्लस माइनस वन स्क्वायर प्लस माइनस वन स्क्वायर इट विल बी कम स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ थ्री वी गोट दिस टू बी एंड बी सी वन मोर डाटा विल बी रिकॉर्ड बैक टू बी ए डॉट बी सी विल इट फाइल दिस इज बी सी एंड बी ए सो टू इल टू माइनस वन प्लस टू इल टू माइनस वन प्लस थ्री इल टू माइनस वन वट विल बी द रीजन माइनस टू माइनस टू माइनस थ्री माइनस फोर माइनस थ्री डेट इज माइनस सेवन No, angle ABC will be to find the angle ABC. B A dot B C equal to minus seven. That is B A B C cos theta equal to minus seven. We separately got the value of this two. Modulus modulus of B A is square root of seventeen. Modulus of BC is square root of three into cos theta equal to minus seven. Now cos theta equal to minus seven by square root of seven into three is fifty one. Therefore. Theta will be cos inverse minus seven by square root of fifty one. This is the region. Angle theta is or angle ABC. Angle ABC equal to theta. Then consider correlation. That's our required region. Okay, thank you. Make a note from this lecture and send them to me. I hope all of you have right. all the notes from the lecture okay thank you